Hello everybody and welcome back to Eco Posh For You YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the reactions of poshers to the news that we got about promoted closets. So that is what we are going to be discussing in this video. We're going to be going to a couple of different forums to see what other poshers are saying about this program. And we are also going to be looking at comments by somebody that actually has access to the promoted closet beta feature and see what their thoughts on the topic are going to be. All right, so now I am going to take a look at some comments on some forums, kind of feel out the lay of the land, see how people are feeling about it. So someone said, um, so I was just reading the details for promoted closet beta. It's a, PPP, it's a PPC pay-per-click where you have an ad spend where each click is drawn from, similar to any other PPC marketing program with most likely the necessary filters to best manage your ad spend. I see a number of issues with this that most likely Poshmark will not deal with due to managing the cost of managing on their end. A big one will be your competitor for the same item coming in and eating up your ad spend with repeated clicks so that their item is promoted over yours. It's going to be a shark frenzy where it sounds like items will be buried if you do not promote them. Amazon and Google both have a number of marketing filters built into their program which best allows you to manage your ad spend. All right, and this is another comment I thought was important. So like I said, when they say they will promote your closet, what exactly does that mean? Internally on the platform, external and internet searches, as we say in business development technology, the devil is in the details. And this is a fair point um, because when you do things like Google ads, um, you know, like that's obviously promoted pretty much all over the place, you know, um, and it just, it just really depends on, are you going to promote it within your platform? Cause I know that some people that do the, um, uh, pay-per-click ads, they will just promote it within the platform. And then some, um, will also promote it on Google and you'll actually have to go and fill out additional information and, and things like that. So that it'll show up into the Google search. So if they're just promoting it internally on Poshmark, I don't know. Like, I would hope if you're going to be paying for it, that it would be promoted, you know, on internet searches too. Like if somebody Googles, say you're selling a pair of socks. Um, let's see what brand. Um, let's call them Red Dragon brand. Okay, just making it up. So let's say you sell Red, Bra Red Dragon brand socks on Posh. So is that going to show up, you know, when you go to Google and, um, you know, it has the list of shopping and, you know, everything like that. I mean, is it going to advertise it there too? Or are they just going to be advertising these Red Dragon socks just on Poshmark? You know, like there's really, uh, the information they're putting out is not that, not that great. Which, when you don't disclose all of the information, to me, that's a little shady. But I guess since it's just a beta test, um, maybe they don't need to yet. I don't know. Like, I, I just wish they would have told us a little bit more about, you know, like you say, where, where, what internet, like what searches. So, there's that. Let's see. I'm iffy about it. I don't mind paying if it works. But as we all know, most of Pasha's things don't work. Wow, there's a lot of truth to that statement. How many times a day do we have something glitch? How many times are you trying to do a live show and it does some kind of weird split screen thing? How many times does a little timer when something, you know, at the end where it's got the little clock? How many times does the clock not go away and you have to end a show? How many times do you get swiped in and swiped out? Like, need I go on? But let me continue. Think of it like my shoppers. Sometimes it works and you've sold some things. Most times you just piss people off. Yeah, because people hate getting 800 notifications. 100%. Um, plus we're already shelling out 20%. How much more will they want? The reply to that comment, I agree. I signed up on the waiting list just to be nosy, which is the same thing I did. Looks like everyone's just kind of, they're going to check it out anyway. And regarding my shoppers, yep, I just pissed three people off yesterday out of 5,000 messages sent, LOL. I'm good at pissing people off. I just messaged them back and blocked them. 
All right, here's another comment. So I got an email regarding Poshmark's plans to have promoted closets. So sad it's come to this. If you're an ambassador too, you'll eventually be able to pay to get traffic directed to your closet. Poshmark is testing promoted closet in beta. They haven't announced what it looks like, but generally promotions mean you pay to promote at a higher rate in the search results and or feed. Sometimes you only pay if the sale is a direct result of the promotion. Who knows how it will be or what it will cost on Posh. I love this feature on eBay, Etsy, and Depop. I don't mind paying to play for a boost in the search against competition. In the um, FAQ email and blog, they say they're testing this on a beta group of Poshmark Ambassador 2s that use Poshmark on desktop. If I fit the criteria, I hope I get to test. All right, so this is a thread on Reddit. Um, and let's see, Poshmark is beta testing promoted closets listing currently. For those who use Poshmark to sell, what are your thoughts on this? I'm conflicted. I like the idea of being able to bump up my listings, but I don't like the idea of paying Poshmark even more of a percentage. And these are the replies. Um, let's see, not a fan. Posh should focus on fixing all of its current issues and glitches before bringing more to the mix. We were just saying that. I have a hard time putting any faith in a promoted closet concept actually working like it should. Um, let's see. Someone said, they're so glitchy, even the application to be a beta tester for the promoted closets isn't working properly. Their beta test application needed a beta test. They're so damn one step forward, two steps back. Whittling away at the margins, currently the majority of my sales come from sending offers that discount the price of the item as well as a discount on shipping. Then Posh takes 20%, so I definitely feel you on this one. Fingers crossed program will turn out to be a positive. I've stopped sending offers just accepting them, so I'm thrilled if I can get even more eyes on a listing. I only send offers via bundle now, so I can avoid the shipping discount altogether. I bundle an offer on every single like. Going to tank the app as Grailed is tanking. They are not eBay and they don't have the buyers for this. You're right, they don't have the format for it either. Everyone sharing listings as hundreds by the second isn't really the way to get buyers. I'm not sure how much this would actually affect sales unless they're cutting visibility elsewhere the way eBay has. See? Mm. Poshmark's other big problem is that they don't ever suspend purge inactive accounts because treating those accounts and their listings as active pads their metrics. But the number of inactive closets has to be pretty insane percentage of the total. Poshmark is 12 years old at this point. There are no consequences for abandoning listings slash not acting on sales like there would be elsewhere. I have a theory that all of these VC firms are now putting the screws to the retail sites they are invested in as their crypto Web3 companies are imploding post-pandemic. They will all be gone soon, in my opinion. Um, Poshmark went public. Stock did not perform well, and it was bought by a South Korean company, Navar. The new owners definitely went to cut costs and make the service profitable eBay doesn't have the buyers for it either. Sellers are just desperate to make a sale. It's just another revenue stream for them. It's very much for them, not sellers. I would not encourage this kind of behavior on the selling platforms. eBay just increased their minimum to promote to six to 2%. Platforms won't be happy until resellers are making the absolute bare minimum. That includes shipping fees too. It's all gouging at this point. Screw pay to play. It will end up the same as eBay, paying to win. When everyone is promoted, nobody is promoted. It's just their way of bleeding you a little more while making it quote-unquote voluntary. What will happen is being promoted will be the new baseline, and then later on, super-duper promoted closets will come along where you can have an edge over the normal promoted closets. Meanwhile, everyone is right back where they started, but also paying to promote too. 
I would never whore myself with promoted listing. It's always overpriced and not even related to what I'm looking for. Just clogs up the search results. Thank goodness for ad blockers. I don't know how it's going to work on Poshmark, but on eBay, promoted listings certainly show up for what you're looking for. They're really pushing it with eBay at 13 to 15 percent doing promoted for a few percentage. More isn't a big deal, but since Posh and Mercari are around 20 percent, throw on promoted listings and you're getting into ridiculous territory. I'd say anything over 25 percent is definitely egregious. That is very true. I can completely 100 percent agree with that comment. You know, if you're only paying like eBay 13 to 15 percent, you can afford to maybe little, you know, throw a little money on some promoted listings here and there. But, you know, Posh charging 20% and then they, you know, you're going to pay another person. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, Mercari charges 10% fee plus 2% nine and 50% and 50 cent payment processing. Effectively 15% on a $20 sale. If they roll this out to everyone, hopefully they get rid of closet sharing and shipping discounts to make it still worth it for sellers. Even though I like the ease of shipping on Poshmark, this might get me to leave altogether. I already feel like they put the screws on sellers by literally forcing at least a $2 shipping discount whenever you make an offer. Add that to the 20% and mandatory $2.95 on any sale less than $15 and Poshmark fees are totally outrageous. Now they want us to pay to play 10 cents a click by some accounts or $25 a week. People with closets like mine where most items are $25 or less cannot afford this and still make a profit. I'm worried that if most of the promoted items are picked up first in the search algorithm, I will get even less sales. My sales on Posh have already gone down from five to 10 a week to like five a month in April. It has completely tanked on me. 20% fees to sell and they're trying to get more. The only positive I'm seeing on Poshmark is shipping for items one to five pounds is $7, which is pretty good for priority mail. Promoted anything is barely worth doing on eBay. I personally don't, let alone the smaller sites that likely get less traffic, I'd go as far to say the value isn't there simply because the buyers are not. Yes. Posh is a bizarre platform. I made a handful of sales on there, but it requires so much commitment with sharing your listings that I just don't care. That being said, almost every platform has this feature, so it's not surprising. I wish I'd gotten this. I'm positive it will be bad overall as everyone promotes, so it's just a higher percentage fee without the benefit, but at first it will be awesome sales. Instead, I'm invited to a new Posh and Sip format for live sales. Sad day. When eBay started doing promoted listings, it felt optional. Not everyone was doing it, so it was okay to choose to promote or not. I feel like now everyone is doing it, so I have to if I want anyone to see my listings at all. Then you have these ridiculously priced items that are always at the top. Search for any Lego set on eBay and you will see one for $200 at the top when all the others are priced at $40. I think promoted listings encourages these ridiculous prices. So it was nice for like a year, but now I resent that I have to do it. This might be good for the shoppers. It will make the hunting harder and ironically, make gems easier to find if you know how the promotion system works. It's like what happened to Google. It's been ruined with paid promotions and SEO. It's so bad that I go to Reddit to find the best suggestions and DuckDuckGo to find the right link. So ultimately I end up paying less for the service I was looking for in the first place. At the end of the day, pay for play, essentially buying impressions is going to be something that's almost necessary on all platforms once they tilt the scales in that direction. I'm not a fan, but I'm happy to pay if it makes me more money. As much as I don't want to pay for traffic, there's a very good chance it ends up being a net positive. Depop has boosts and they don't work at all. I'm very skeptical of this. Poshmark is awful. 
literally everything about it is spam and garbage. Haven't sold a thing on there, but have a thousand notifications to weird spam invitations? How long have you been selling on the app? I asked because I've sold 2,000 li plus listings on Poshmark, and while it definitely has its drawbacks, it also has a lot of benefits for sellers. First and foremost being no returns based off fit and three days total for return requests. On the flip side, a 20% cut is mighty steep, especially if they plan on increasing the percentage they take with promoted closets. There's pros and cons to most things, I suppose. Um, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm hoping this ends up being a way to weed out inactive closets without costing too much extra. For every 99 sales I get on eBay, I get one on Poshmark. Oh well, promote it or not won't matter much to me. Just get more eyes on Poshmark. The shipping fees are already too high in my opinion. Um, eBay and Poshmark are crazy. Promoted listings suck. I won't be doing it on Posh unless somehow the magically results in a ton of sales at decent prices. I've done promoted listings on Ebays for years, but my sales are down 35% the last six months. I started changing the promoted accounts, turning them off and on and nothing helped. So I just turned them off completely. I don't think they help my sales. Whenever I search items I sell, my sponsored listings don't show up until the bottom of the page, multiple pages in. However, about half of my sales were being billed as promoted. Okay, and now we're going to go to another comment thread here. Um, this one is asking, about the Poshmark promoted. Has anybody been selected for this yet? And how is it going for you if you are part of the test group for the new feature? Pay-per-click? OMG, I'm in posh hell. I'm already not feeling the 20% commission and not to mention the forced discounts of postal service and don't even get me started with the live shows. And now they want to change or charge to promote your items or closet? So sharing is now obsolete? What will happen if you don't pay an arm and a leg to promote your closet? That's a scary question. I don't know. I'm really not feeling it anymore. This is honestly becoming overwhelming. How do they expect us to afford this? It's not making any sense to me. So here's where the rubber hits the road. Poshmark has undertaken the new Posh live shows with a fervor. A significant portion of their community isn't biting, and in many cases, users are ditching sellers who contribute to the clutter in their news feeds. All right? Notifications. Again, once again. Um, let's see. So Poshmark pursues another whimsical feature slash function without committing to any service level guarantees. Pay more with no guarantee for greater productivity. Not. Be careful what you wish for. Inflation isn't the cause here, folks. People still have to purchase necessities. So when a platform tells you they can improve your closet visibility, the questions one should ask is, why has my closet visibility dropped? Subscriber loss, more sellers, less buyers, more listings? Why have my sales tanked over the past 12 months? I'm carrying the top brands. I'm competitively priced. I actively engage community members. Why am I no longer getting the shares, likes, follows I used to? Algorithm changes, feature function changes, drop in subscribers, food for thought. From a longtime seller on Poshmark. Those are some excellent points. Oh, interesting. I wonder if this is true or not. I'm going to have to look this up and see if it's true or not. Um, and if it is, that may be another video. Let's see. A loss, also, along with the other issues, they are now under investigation for securities fraud. Who knows what will come of that drama? Crazy. Hey, when they offered Posh Ambassador 2's first right of refusal in the IPO and then stiffed most of them, it totally would surprise me. Wow, interesting. Would love to know where I can read about that. 
It's all over the internet, just Google it. Right now it's looking like a massive civil action, but I wouldn't be surprised if the state slash Fed gets involved. It's on a multi-billion dollar scale. Holy cow, we'll be interested in seeing where this goes. Me too. Me too. That is very interesting. All right, let's see. I applied, got a message. It was only available for level two ambassadors, which I am, and I marked that I am. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like, and so somebody else is saying too that they're a posh ambassador too, and um, and got a reply back. Like, hey, you have to be a posh, posh ambassador too, but these people are posh ambassador twos. And they're getting emails back saying, you have to be a posh ambassador too. And it's like, well, we are. So what is going on? What are the glitches? So you really want people to pay you when you can't even send a freaking email out properly? You want more money when you can't even send a freaking email? Anyway, okay. Wait, really? They are just promoting stuff wherever? How ridiculous. After hearing this, and that it will be pay-per-click, no words. Oh, I have a few words, none of which I can repeat. Um, Nordstrom's and Macy's are doing this, and it annoys the hell out of me. I'm not looking for the cheapest, most basic t-shirt, and I'm sorting by price from low to high. I'm not interested in buying the $300 fancy dress that comes up on my search results. This makes me not want to shop at these stores at all. All right, and then somebody's had the feature for two days, the promoted closet feature for two days, and this is what they said. I've had the promoted closets for two days and haven't seen a difference. Two days isn't really going to prove anything, though. Maybe wait a month for this question. Um, let's see. And then the person that has promoted closets says, I currently have 1,059 listings. I promoted my whole closet since it's free right now. You can pick individual items. Okay, so you can. Because on the uh, Poshmark frequently asked questions about it, it said that it wasn't. You didn't pick it. So this is, this is interesting. Um, so you can pick individual items. My trial started on April the 23rd around 9 p.m. It's showing I've had 73 clicks so far, and the price so far would be $7.65. So a little more than 10 cents per click. The analytics portion leaves a lot to be desired. Like it's really not analytics at all. It doesn't show you what people are clicking on and there's no past data on clicks for comparison. It's literally a graph of clicks only. That's it. I'm on eBay so I'm used, I'm used to an overwhelming amount of data that would take like a full day to wade through. The dashboard does show that impression data is coming soon, but Poshmark makes a lot of promises, so I take that with a grain of salt. If there aren't vast improvements to my sales in the next month, I will not continue to promote. I will post the results when this is all over. I have extensive spreadsheets going back three years, so it will be evident if this works or not. Basically, I'm underwhelmed so far, but I'm um, underwhelmed with Poshmark in general, so this isn't a surprise. It's good for moving my younger targeted items and a supplement to my eBay business. Feel free to ask any other questions. All right, let's see. So someone said, so if someone who doesn't like your closet trolls you, they can click all your promoted... Oh, shoes. I never thought of this, guys. So if someone who doesn't like you, doesn't like your closet trolls you, they can click all your promoted and rack up some serious costs. I have lots of window shoppers who eventually buy this strategy would also cost me a lot. I prefer eBay's promoted listing over this will be a hard pass for me unless you are showing it's worth it. And then someone said, well, thanks for that new fear. I didn't think of that. Let's see. Yikes. So they're toying with the idea of charging per click. I hope they don't stick with that model. In my opinion, it only makes sense to use the eBay model where they charge you your set um, ad free. So if your item sells as a result of a click on your promoted listing, 
Um, charging per click is the most ridiculous BS I've heard of. This isn't Google AdSense. I totally agree the eBay model is the way they should be taking this. The problem is also that Posh has so far given us zero analytics on our views um, as platform data goes paying goes. So paying uh, per click gives us no baseline to even know what we were generating prior to the promoted listing. I hope they reconsider during the beta and change things up considerably. Yep, I'm not going to pay for clicks if they won't even bother to tell me what I'm already getting. See, that's what I was saying earlier. I was like, so they're just telling you what you've gotten from your promoted listings, but how do they know? They weren't just regular sales. That's, that's what everybody's saying here. Okay. Um, charging per click is a big no for me, especially when I can't see what is happening in real time. If I have a popular item that is getting lots of views already, why would I promote that? I wouldn't. If I see results after this month, I will probably promote how I do on eBay. Only items more than three months old. Um, I buy high, high sell through items and want things gone in three months, so that's the only time promoting is valuable for me. Um, let's see. Unless the platform is going to provide detail analytics, and those analytics draw a direct line to your sales, you're wasting time and money. This is another whimsical feature function. Okay, blah, blah, blah. This looks like it's a repeat. All right. So let me see if there's anything, any kind of new opinions being offered. Um, charging per click? Holy hell, that is the worst idea ever. So is... It is really just a money grab. Poshmark is a joke now. Wow, honestly, I'm floored. All right. So there is the review for that. So that's what we have heard so far as feedback from other poshers. And the posh community is not really feeling it, I think. But uh, I guess the jury's still out, and we will see what happens with the features, see if they end up adding any better analytics, and just see what happens to sales and things in general. So if anybody signs up for it and wants to share some information, let me know. Um, I hope you found some good information in this video, and I will see you next time.